Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God, back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the, the fourth book of Moses called Numbers, chapter 3. These also are the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that the Lord spake with Moses in, the, in Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the sons of Aaron. Nadab the firstborn, Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests which were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. And Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord, when they offered strange fire before the Lord, in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. And Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the sight of Aaron their father. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister unto him. And they shall keep his charge and the charge of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of the congregation, to do the service of the tabernacle. And they shall keep all the instruments of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the charge of the children of Israel, to do the service of the tabernacle. And thou shalt give the Levites unto Aaron and to his sons, they are wholly given unto him out of the children of Israel. And thou shalt appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall wait on the priest's office, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of, Is of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine, because all the firstborn are mine. For on that day, on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel. Both man and beast, mine shall they be. I am the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the children of Levi after the house of their fathers, by their families every male from a month old, and upward shalt thou number them. And Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord, as he was commanded. And these were the sons of Levi. Of the sons of Ger excuse me, and these were the sons of Levi by their names Gershon and Kohath and Merari, and these are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families Libni and Shimei, and the sons of Kohath by their families Amram and Izahar, Hebron and Uziel, and the sons of Merari by their families Mali and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites according to the house of their fathers. Of Gershon was the family of the Libnites and the family of the Shimites. These are the family of the Gershonites. Those that were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, even those that were numbered of them, were seven thousand and five hundred. The families of the Gershonites shall pitch behind the tabernacle westward, and the chief of the house of the father of the Gershonites shall be Eliasaph, the son of Lael. And the charge of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation shall be of the tabernacle and the tent. And the covering thereof, and the hanging of, uh, for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the hangings of the court, and the curtain for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle, and by the altar round about, and the cords of it for all the service thereof. And of Kohath was the family of the Amramites, and the family of the Izharites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzalites. These are the families of the Kohalites. In the number of all the males from a month old and upward were eight thousand and six hundred, keeping the charge of the sanctuary. The families of the sons of Kohath shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle southward, and the chief of the house of the father of the families of the Kohalites shall be Elizaphan, the son of Uziel, and their charge shall be the ark, and the table, and the candlestick, and the altars, and the vessels of the sanctuary wherewith they minister and the hanging and all the service thereof. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be chief over the chief, over the chief of the Levites, and have the oversight of them that keep the charge of the sanctuary. Of Merari was the family of the Malites, and the family of the Mushites. These are the families of the Merari, and those that were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, were six thousand and two hundred. And the chief of the house of the father of the families of Merari was Zuriel, the son of Abihel. These shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle northward, and under the custody and charge of the sons of Merari shall be the boards of the tabernacle, and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and the sockets thereof, and all the vessels thereof, and all that serveth thereto. 
and the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords. But those that encamp before the tabernacle toward the east, even before the tabernacle, of the congregation eastward shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the charge of the sanctuary for the charge of the children of Israel, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. All that were numbered of the Levites which Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of the Lord throughout their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were twenty and two thousand. And the Lord said unto Moses, Number all the firstborn of the males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. And thou shalt take the Levites for me, I am the Lord, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites, instead of all the firstlings among the cattle of the children of Israel. And Moses numbered as the Lord commanded him, all the firstborn among the children of Israel. And all the firstborn males by the number of names from a month old and upward of those that were numbered of them were twenty and two thousand two hundred and threescore and thirteen. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of their cattle, and the Levites shall be mine. I am the Lord. And for those that are to be redeemed of the two hundred and threescore and thirteen of the firstborn of the children of Israel, which are more than the Levites, Thou shalt even take five shekels apiece by the pole. After the shekel of the sanctuary shalt thou take them. The shekel is twenty geras. And thou shalt give the money wherewith the odd number of them that is to be redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons. And Moses took the redemption money of them that were over, and above them that were redeemed by the Levites. Of the firstborn of the children of Israel took he the money, a thousand three hundred and threescore and five shekels after the shekels of the sanctuary. The shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the money of them that were redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons, according to the word of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I want to quickly do a little bit of research here before I discuss the two passages that stand out to me. First and foremost, I want to understand again, who are the Levites in the Bible? So those who performed subordinate services associated with public worship were known as Levites, such as musicians, gatekeepers, guardians, temple officials, judges, and craftsmen. So you have priests, high priests, and Levites. So the, the Levites were of the tribe of Israelites descended from Levi, one of the twelve sons of Jacob. So very fascinating. So now I understand what the Levites are, because previously I did not know. Um, I, I remember l them being of some tribe, but I did not remember exactly who. So they are descended of the son of Levi. So the priests were qualified men and right, so all priests were to be Levites according to the law, but not all Levites were priests. So that makes sense with what the understanding is. All the priests can perform the tasks the Levites can perform, but the Levites cannot perform the tasks that priests can perform. Similarly, I imagine it is the same way for the high priest in relation to the priest, and of course the Levites as well by transitive property. Alright, so now taking a look at some of the next stuff that I want to understand here. One of my favorite passages here, well, not favorite, but one of the ones that stands out, because it's not, it's not good. So these also are the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day of the Lord. So the, the sons of Aaron are Nadab and Abihu and Eleazar and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord when they offered, a str offered strange fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai. What an interesting passage offered strange fire before the Lord. I wonder what that means. Of course, we learn more about Eleazar has a, a role here. Um, it says somewhere here, And Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, shall be chief over the chief of the Levites. So again, now, the chief of the Levites, I imagine, is like the top Levite. And Eleazar is the chief of the chief of them. So very fascinating to learn all this stuff. And this is why I'm going through the Old Testament, because you must be a learned man. You must be strong, you must be learned, you know, you must you know, continue to get your rest. These are all principles of, of naringelicism where, you know, I, I emphasize the importance of education, etc. I emphasize the importance of, you know, building up one's body. All of these things are all very important principles. And, and it's a great honor to be able to learn about this history because now I'm learning about how the sons of Levi were purposed as Levites to be performing the subordinate roles in this structure, high priest, priest, Levite. And now take a look here. 
the Lord himself says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of their, their cattle, and the, and the Levites shall be mine. I am the Lord. So the Lord takes this ownership, you know, he takes that responsibility of dictating, you know, through, you know, Moses, what is to be done with the Levites. And I, I absolutely love uh, that leadership from Jehovah. So with that in mind now, I'll go ahead and end the uh, Bible reading there for today. And now transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diet video. Uh, since yesterday's Daily Diet video, uh, I worked at my core. I worked at my chest. I created the thumbnails for the Squadron Tower Defense series. I created the thumbnails for the Call of Duty Vanguard series. I created 28 Call of Duty Vanguard videos. I created 14 Squadron Tower Defense videos. I uploaded and scheduled all the Squadron Tower Defense videos, backdated as of June 20th, 2024. I'll update the date in the future. I uploaded and scheduled Call of Duty Vanguard videos through video 150, backdated through June 29th, 2024. And now I've created this Daily Diary video. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.